The Art of Listening to People You Don't Like. I don't know who this message is intended for. I have no idea. But I know the Father laid a message on my heart to get out there. And I'm kind of at a loss. <laughs> so if it fits, apply it. I have spent a large majority of my life learning from people that I don't even like. My dad was the very first one of those people and probably the most prominent one of those people in my life. I cannot tell you the amount of advice the amount of little things that my dad said that I listened to. Because regardless of whether I liked the man or not, he was typically right. And a lot of my back and forth with him was just me being stubborn, me trying to be impossible. But I listened to him anyway. And I think that it is highly important for individuals to build those skills because as it stands, our society today will dance with the devil. They will choose whatever makes them feel warm and fuzzy over the truth. You will find people that get their news, get their information from individuals, not because of the level of accuracy, but because they like the personality. And that's part of the reason why I don't try to smooth up the edges of myself, because if somebody's going to be that soft, if somebody's going to be that small-minded to let a little bit of sandpaper rub them so so wrong that they can't progress that's probably not the people that's going to fit in well with the truth about news so throughout my life my dad was just the first one but even today I still pay attention and listen to people that I don't like, people that in some cases I absolutely despise. I was not put on earth to find people to like. I was put on the earth to seek truth, to seek the way, to seek the light. Sometimes that takes listening to people that for whatever reason, whether it be a personality clash, maybe it be a stance on another subject, for whatever the reason, we may not like them. But it's more important to search for that truth. It's more important to search for that true information that can help you than what it is to feel warm and fuzzy or what it is to idolize somebody which in many cases are putting on a facade anyway to get you to idolize them and in most cases for profit, for monetary profit and, and if it's not monetary, it's ego. Folks need to do a lot of soul searching and make sure where their hearts are is pure. Make sure where their hearts are is sustainable. And just as important as anything else to make sure that where their hearts are are wise and walking with God. Shalom.